Um, all right. So my event of choice was going to be a loss of a loved one, though I thought that'd be a little too melancholy. So I figured, why not do the birth of a loved one? So the birth of my younger brother uh, was very, I want to say, enlightening at a very young age, in that by the age of six, I was spoiled with affection. Like, it was ridiculous. Um, it was like, you know, your mom does that high-pitched voice and they speak to you. This was 24-7, this was me. So by the time of my younger brother's uh, birth, it got to the point where I had absolutely none of that. So it felt as though, you know, as a kid, you don't understand that, though it felt like you were unloved, unfortunately. So um, the birth of him pretty much at a young age taught me to uh, value what little compliments I ended up getting at the time. So it got to the point from getting them all to absolutely none. Um, so that was initially a value that I, uh, I had picked up on at a young age. And uh, as jealous as I was, I learned that uh, most, of, most of what I had was going to be shared with him, whether I liked it or not. So I learned to accept the fact that sharing was going to be a, uh, a crucial part in growing up. And uh, as I age, I guess I didn't realize that my, your little brother would imitate what you do, regardless of uh, his understanding of it or not. So whenever I'd, uh, I'd get very, I guess, throw a tantrum, um, he'd do the same thing. And I'd get beat for it. Like, why are you teaching him this? So I pretty much learned to be good uh, the hard way. <clears throat> um, I maintained a pretty, uh, like after, uh, right out of high school, uh, junior high, middle school, I ended up maintaining like 3.8 GPA, mostly because of him. I guess uh, all that translated into doing, doing something for more than just yourself, and it meant setting a, a role model for, being a role model for someone younger than you are. And uh, at this point, I think he's caught on. And I mean, he has a 4.0 and he's a sophomore in high school and now, but um, I guess the more important lesson, however, was I learned the meaning of redemption through him. Because growing up, my uh, dad was working two jobs, uh, and I guess you got a lot of stress on you. you gotta, you're the only one working. Uh, so he drank to cope. He was a heavy drinker. And uh, well, he'd get home and like, we'd get beat for no reason. However, through the birth of my younger brother and his upbringing, um, not once was he hit. Uh, obviously, it works. Um, they, my dad knew that it was a lot uh, less efficient to beat your kids um, rather than, uh, I guess, teaching them the meaning of what they did wrong. <clears throat> so I learned that, uh, in, I guess, as, as indirect as it can be through him, I learned that people do change. And uh, I've learned to accept it as a possibility in others. Uh, <clears throat> um, that's pretty much it.